Now that we're completely finished with the painting, I'm going to show you an optional way to cure the paint. I'm going to do this using a heat set gun. This is not a hair dryer, can't be used for drying hair. It, it heats up to 400 degrees. And we're going to hold the gun a few inches away from the doll and I'm going to move the gun back and forth so we don't get too hot in one area. And we're going to do this for about three to five minutes over the areas that we're trying to cure. Now that we have all of the painting done and the doll is cured, we need to test before we go on to the next step to make sure that the paint is fully cured. And the way that you do that is just to take a Q-tip and dip it in water and rub it on the paint. Just rub lightly and if it comes out clean, like it does here, then you'll know that your paint is fully cured and that you're ready to proceed. Next we're going to be applying the heat set matte varnish. Occasionally when you're baking dolls, they'll become a bit shiny. The matte varnish will tone down the shine and it will also add a really nice skin texture to the vinyl to make the vinyl look more realistic and more like skin. To apply this we're going to be using a, cos a cosmetic wedge and I like to just take the wedge and use it to kind of warm up the varnish. I'm going to be applying this straight. Some people prefer to add a little bit of thinner to it, but I prefer to just add it straight. And then we just use a pouncing motion to apply the varnish to the doll. And you're going to cover the entire surface of the vinyl. And it's good to work in the sunlight when you're doing this step because any little lines that might be formed by the wedge, you can see them a lot easier in the sunlight and you can get those all buffed out. And I'll be doing this to the head and the limbs. And this is just a really light layer. If you get it, get it too heavy, the skin texture will be a little too rough. And for the creases, you can usually use the thin edge of the wedge to get down in the creases. Once we've got all the pieces completely covered with the heat set matte varnish, we'll be placing this in the oven again at 265 for 8 minutes. And on this step, it takes longer for it to cure. So we will be curing the heat set matte varnish a total of three times. And each time you bake, you need to allow it to cool in between and then rotate the pieces and bake again. And then you'll do it the third time and then the varnish should be set enough and the painting will be done. Now that we've cured the heat set matte varnish three times, we're going to go ahead now and apply the air dry gloss varnish to the lips and nails. Okay, using a number two filbert brush, I'm going to apply the air dry gloss to the nails. And since this is an air dry gloss varnish, we're just going to let these 
air dry and you won't be curing them any further. And I'm also going to apply the varnish to the lips. And this gives the sheen a little bit of a wet look to the lips and nails. This isn't necessary for sealing the paint since Genesis paints are permanent. It's simply to add a sheen and a nice finished look to the lips and nails. <laughs> 